Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a web server that will have Apache, PHP, and MySQL set up on it. Now, I'm currently running a virtual machine here of Ubuntu 9.10. Now, this will work, as far as I know, as 9.10, 9.04, and 8.10. Never tried that 8.04 before, so let's get going. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to type in sudo task l install lamp server. It's going to ask you for my password, my privileged password. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead here and install the package. Now this is going to take a few minutes depending on you know the speed of your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this until I get to the next step. Okay. So the next screen you're going to reach is it's going to ask you to set your root user's password for your MySQL. So I'm going to go ahead and set this and then it's going to be a confirmation and it's going to go ahead and set up MySQL and configure the other stuff it's going to start to configure some modules And there you go. So now you have a web server set up. So you could actually open up a web browser and go to the address, which there you go. So basically, you got it. It uh, it works. So it tells you that it's working. So what we're going to do here, though, is we're going to take it to the next step, and I'm going to just show you a few things you want to edit uh, in your config file. Oops. You're going to want to go to Sites Available, and you're going to want to go to the default. Now this server admin webmaster at localhost where this becomes important is if you were going to open up your router and you were actually going to put this out to the internet you would then want to go ahead and you would want to rename this like john at jc web so you would want to put your you know your email address in there so one of the things that you want to add to this is you want to add in server name. Now, depending on if this is going to be an internal only website or an external, you would do one of the two things. One, you could put your domain name in if you were going to have this on the outside world and have your domain point to that. You could put your outside IP address or you can put in Put the IP address that that's going to hold. Now, the document root here, 
to show this real quick. This is where your source files will be. So if you wanted to change the location of where your web files would be, this is what you would want to change. You would need to make sure you change this one as well to match what that is. The last thing I'm going to show you is something called directory index. And this will hold the following. Okay. What this file basically states, or this line, excuse me, is if you go to a website, and let's say you go to jcwebconcepts.net and hit enter, what happens is when that gets acknowledged, the server looks at the directory index and says, what files should I look for if not specified? So because we didn't specify an index.htm or html or .php, it doesn't know what to look for. But this is what this line does. It says if a file isn't specified, these are the files to look for. And it will look for in the particular order. So it's not going to look for index.htm first, it's going to look for index.php first. So that should go ahead and wrap it up for this tutorial. Very simple, not hard to do. Let's go ahead and save the file and have a good day.